YouTube, it's your boy NYC Mike, man, and I'm back with another reaction video. Y'all already know what it do, and today we got another banger. Today we're gonna be reacting to It's Complicated Channel again. He's back with another video, and today we're talking about Happy Wife, Happy Life. Rules of Modern Dating and Understanding Woman. It's complicated. You already know what time it is. But before we get straight into the video, I need y'all to do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And most of all, turn on those post notifications so you get notified when I upload a new video. I'm going to repeat. Make sure you subscribe. You feel me? We almost at 300 subscribers. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? It's not like. But we're going to hop straight into it. Today, still interested in marriage. 100%. What percentage of modern women are marriage material? 90%. 25%, really? She said 90... She, did she say 90% or 19%? I think she said 90%. She's bugging. Okay, maybe like... <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say like 75. 75, okay. What does it no, mean to be marriage sir. material? Uh, I think it just means to like... If you love your man enough and like you respect each other on like a personal and emotional level, you have to have the person that you want to like love and be with for the rest of your life. That's it. That's all that matters. Not cheating. That's a big one. Being I loyal. think just as long as you like genuinely love the person you're with, you can make anything work. Where are women being taught how to become good wives? I'd say through their moms. What does the color white represent on a woman's wedding dress? <laughs> that they're a virgin. Purity. How many women are actually pure when they get married? Uh, probably like maybe 5%. No, okay. If you think about religion, 5%. I... You went to a Catholic high school, or like elementary, junior high, high school. How, like, okay, no. We don't talk about re virginizing. I want to say a good solid 22.5%. No, I'm 22. saying 5%. 22.7%. How many women are actually pure when they get married? <laughs> None. <laughs> so, why are we still using white wedding dresses? This isn't white, this is ivory. Oh, okay. So, what does that represent? That I'm not a virgin, so it's not white. Okay. Do you think people can be sexually incompatible? No. Yes. A thousand percent. If so, why would somebody marry a virgin or wait until marriage to have sex? Isn't that like buying a car without test driving it first? I personally don't think waiting until marriage makes any sense. Yeah, but like to each their own, I guess. Isn't mm. that like buying a car without test Her driving it first? teeth is yellow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think they just like the idea of only being, like, being the only person for that person. Like, it's like an ego thing for men. What is the most no, popular it is not. People it's, getting... it's, it's not an ego thing for men. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's not an ego thing. I just don't want to be with a whore. That's really what it is. I want to be with a woman that actually respects herself and doesn't just open her legs for every dude that she comes across. That doesn't mean that I'm ego maniacal. No, that just simply means that I want to be with a woman that respects herself and has respect for herself and that knows her worth as a woman. So, like, what are you talking about? It's not an ego maniacal thing. Married. Money. Financial reasons. Because they're 30 and desperate. I'd say love. <laughs> are men or women more likely to marry for money? Women, more women, all day. That's Who true. Who is more easily bored in relationships, That's true. men or women? Women. If women are more easily bored, why are they more likely to want marriage and commitment? Status. If women are strong and independent and don't need no man, why does the pressure of marriage and commitment typically come from women? They're liars. Because, like I said, I feel like it's really hard to keep a woman Simple. happy nowadays because women don't know what they want at this point anymore, I don't think. Why is that? I think they have uh, come up with something in their mind through internet, and they think that that's what they want, but when they get it, I think that they still, like, that's not what they wanted in the beginning, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's harder to find or to maintain a relationship? Find. Maintain. Harder to find. Harder to maintain. Why do some people let themselves go after marriage? I guess because they're not really looking for something new anymore, so they don't feel like they have to impress anyone. Yeah. They're comfortable. What is the difference between being comfortable versus being lazy? 
I think as long as you're still confident in yourself, you're comfortable. I think once you let yourself go past what you're comfortable with, then you're lazy. Yeah. Do you think it's hard to find or to maintain a relationship? Soft like question. Hard uh, to yeah, hard to find, definitely. Hard to find. Why do some people let themselves go after getting married? Because you get lazy and you eat all the Domino's, McDonald's, Deliveroo. And, and then you have a baby as well. Why do some people let themselves go after marriage? Because they feel comfortable. What is the difference between being comfortable and being lazy? Uh, I being, think... Oh, do you want to go? Or you can go. I was going to say being lazy is not adding into anything and then also just like letting yourself go personally. Yeah, like being lazy is just like not putting in any effort anymore. Yeah. What is the difference between being comfortable and being lazy? Uh, it's the same. Same, yeah, same. <laughs> Do you think marriage encourages people to become lazy? Probably. Yeah. yeah. We haven't found out yet. We're ready now, really. <laughs> Do you think women care more about getting married than they care about being married? Yeah, 100%. Why is that? Because they want the big fancy wedding and the party. But they don't want to be wives? Yeah, pretty much. What are your thoughts on the... And that's sad, man. That's sad that... That's really sad how a lot of women think about marriage. Of course, not all women think like that. But the majority do. And, you know, that's very concerning. You get what I'm saying? And as a man who really wants to get married, you know what I'm saying, in the future... That is scary, man. That is scary. But... You know, I'm 100% confident in myself, and I already know what type of woman that I want, and I already know the type of woman I should not entertain and stay away from. So, you know, I'm on point with these type of things. You get what I'm saying? Expression, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope so, but yeah. Why, yeah. Not, why not happy spouse, happy house? Yes, exactly. <laughs> what about that? But the women are in charge, right? Come on. Is marriage 50 50? Yeah. I yes. So, I yeah. So. What are your thoughts on the expression happy wife, happy life? I think it's accurate. Why not happy spouse, happy house? Okay, that's more accurate. Uh, it's both ways. So why don't we have happy spouse, happy house? I don't know. It's women uh, who feel that they should just be happy. And that. Uh, Isn't that kind of selfish? Yes, it is. Isn't that relationship doomed to fail? Yes. Is marriage 50-50? No. Who carries more of the burden? Uh, the man. How so? Uh, well, if he's a working uh, man, he's out in the field more working and taking mm -hmm. care of the responsibilities of the home. Mm -hmm. They are the sole provider mm -hmm. of the household. Mm -hmm. uh, and along with that, all the other things that come with being the sole provider of a household. So... Uh, are men still expected to be the sole providers? I would say it depends on background and culture. Um, I would still lean more towards yes in this society. You do have a lot of women out there that can hold it down on their own. Now, those are proven facts. Um, a lot of women now don't need men. Uh, but I would still say that for the majority of women, they do rely on men to, uh, to hold it down. So then what would be the incentive for a man to get married? To have children. Exactly. Exactly. You feel me? Because that's what men want when marrying a woman. They want to pass on their DNA. They want to build a family. You get what I'm saying? And that's basically men. That's basically a man's goal in life. A man's goal in life is to build a family and pass on his DNA to his children. And then his children do the same thing to his grandchildren and so on. It's to keep his bloodline going. You feel me? Doesn't want his bloodline to just die out. You feel me? So it's just like, you know, want to keep passing on the DNA, right? That's what a man wants to do. I would, you know, that's that's what all men should do. I mean, to be honest. But, you know, yeah, man. I, I, I like that she, you know, is, you know, very educated on all of this. Like, you, you get what I'm saying? I wish there was a lot more women like her, man. This this. For real. Is there anything a married couple can do that an unmarried couple can't do? No. So why would a man need to get married if he can have children without being married? Well, out of wedlock. I mean, I 
think the incentives for anyone to get married are a loving relationship and to start a family. Yeah. Is there anything a married couple can do that an unmarried couple can't do? I don't think so. I think it just signifies a bigger commitment. Yeah. What are the incentives for a man to get married? Realistically, there aren't any. Is there? What? Don't your boobs. Yes, oh, there is. No, thank you. That's how you handle catcalling. <laughs> exactly. I love it. I love it. That's, yeah, men, no one sent it. I, 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 I love how you handle that. That was great. Okay, um, is there is there anything a married couple can do that an unmarried couple can't do? No. Really? Yeah, like, no. if you think about it, no. Like, if you're dating and then you get married, like, nothing should really change. Except for, like, the status. Should the over 50% divorce rate be a concern of his? That's yeah. a thing. Yeah. Is marriage a wise financial decision for a man?